So now the live fire drill, very, very simple drill. We're gonna be working a couple concepts, but before I show you the drill itself, I wanna to talk to you real quickly about a rifle press check and how you make sure you're loading your rifle properly. Number one, whenever you're manipulating your rifle, I want you to consider controlling it in one of two points, either up on your shoulder, if you're strong enough, and not a lot of people are strong enough that I would recommend keeping the gun up on your shoulder. Generally speaking, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and tuck that butt stock somewhere right under your arm. Not really deep under your arm, but just enough where right now I have pretty good control of the rifle. It's not moving around a lot, so I can actually put a magazine in there. I can do whatever I want to as far as press checking, et cetera, et cetera. Now, a lot of times, if we have a fully loaded magazine, it's gonna be a lot easier to lock that bolt to the rear to do my, my initial load. So I'm gonna lock the bolt to the rear. And what I'm gonna to do to press check is I'm gonna observe my magazine, I can see there's a, a bullet on the right hand side of the magazine. Once I go and insert the magazine, tap and tug, let that bolt go forward. If I remove the magazine and look at it, now you can see that I have a bullet on the left hand side. So that means that the bullet on the right hand side either went into the chamber or disappeared into the thin air. And I'm not thinking it disappeared into thin air today. So once again, magazine goes back in. Every time you insert a magazine into your rifle, think about tapping or uh, inserting the magazine and giving it a quick tug to make sure it doesn't fall out of the gun, okay? So tug, magazine's good to go, safety's on. Now I'm gonna go back up to my toe position. And for this live fire drill, you're gonna work through what I call a progression of four. That means instead of always firing the same number of rounds, you're gonna be firing one round, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds. Now, of course, for the five by five drill, if you wanna do a progression of five, there wouldn't be anything wrong with that. You could do a fifth round, but generally speaking, my progression of four concept is always mounting the rifle and shooting a different number of rounds. So you don't build a bad habit, for example. When I fire my round, I'm gonna be going through a specific set of steps though, okay? So watch, what's, watch what happens here. So I've got a good position. Remember my nose is over my toes. I can feel my body weight on the balls of my feet. Strong hand is where it needs to be. Support hand is where it needs to be. Rifle toe or rifle stock is exactly where it needs to be. Now every time I fire a shot, whether it's one shot, two, th two shots, three shots, or four shots, I'm always listening to what the rifle's telling me. So if the dot is moving you know, up and to the left, or up and to the left, or up and to the right, then I need to adjust my stock position, or my elbow, or my body mechanics to try to figure out how I get that dot recovering, uh, recoiling and recovering in a neutral pattern. Because ultimately I really just kind of want it to jiggle in the center of the target at this distance, which is 20 yards away. And it, really the dot should not move out of the center of the target when I'm doing my drill, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'll start out slow. 45 degree low ready, mount the rifle, wipe the safety off, double settles, I fire my shot. Now notice after I fire my shot, I'm following through. I call this staying in the window of the scope and on the trigger because you always wanna train yourself to develop a habit where you're not sure uh, how that threat's gonna respond. So I wanna watch for a second. If this is someone that broke into my house, I wanna make sure that they're in fact down and they're no longer a threat to me or my family, okay? Once they're down, I'm gonna come out of the window and I may do a quick scan process, checking all around me. Okay, safety's back on. Progression to four, so now I'm firing two rounds. Here we go. Okay, that time on the second round, the dot dropped just a little bit. So of course, I'm gonna adjust a little bit. I'm gonna drive my elbow down. I wanna, I wanna provide a, a solid position to have that stock on and figure out what, what I can do a little bit better, okay? Here we go. Progression to four, three rounds. There we go, and that's probably what I need to see. Notice I followed through in the sights, or through the scope, and on the trigger for a second, do my quick scan, and four rounds. Dot was pretty good. One of the shots, it climbed a little high on me, so I'm gonna address that. I wanna get my upper body just a little bit more forward. Back down to three shots. Well, that was a fourth shot. I saw something I didn't like. The dot was climbing on me. In the window on the trigger, scan process, and two shots. Trying to pick up my pace now. Get down, scan, and one shot. He's down, and scan. And as you go through this, you're eventually going to want to start pushing your pace. You know, two shots. That was a little bit loose. Need to drive the elbow this time. I want to solidify my stance. Three shots. There we go. And that's the live fire drill through a progression of four. 
mounting the rifle, applying some of these principles, and of course, during the 5x5 test, in two of our stages, we did a reload or a transition. So if you're at the level where, as you're doing this drill, you know how to do a rifle reload or a transition, you could set up with a handgun that's already loaded and or a secondary magazine, and after your 30 round magazine ran out of ammunition, you get that bolt lock, you can respond with your reload or your transition, which of course we're gonna talk about next. So, hit the range, give that one a shot.